Hello everyone. Um, today I'm here to catch a bowfin. I'm over here at this uh, really nasty muddy river. Um, the muddy bottom, not much features. There's a deep hole right in front of this pipe directly in front of me that uh, I'm going to be fishing today and hoping for a bowfin. A uh, good size one at that. Um, I'm going to show you guys a type of rig. I'm basically, if you can see that, is using a, a sliding sinker rig. Very simple. Got a 4 aught um, octopus hook here. And um, I got a sliding little sinker here. Little, uh, this is the best sinker I could find in my tackle box. Um, normally I use bank sinkers, but these work fine too. Little swivel here, attached to about 20 pound test because they got teeth, so you need some tough line. Um, and I'll show you guys the type of bait I use. So my favorite personal bait are these little shad. Um, little uh, hand sized shad like this. Um, just caught a bunch of these in my cast net. Um, pretty abundant in this river, um, but pretty much any bait fish will work. I just prefer these shad. Uh, they smell real bad and then they're really soft so they're easy to cut and put on a hook. So normally the way I do it is I uh, will cut right here behind the gills and that's a good chunk of bait right there. I'll also cut about an, maybe, maybe a centimeter to an inch um, depending on the size of your hook and you can just cut the body chunks like that. I typically don't use the tail, there's not a whole lot of blood in the tail. But there you go, that one shad makes three good perfectly piece of uh, bait. Um, I generally have more luck, at least with the bigger bowfin on the heads, so that's what I'm going to put on right now. And uh, generally there's two ways to hook them. You can hook them through the lips like that and just have the point up here by their nose. Or I tend to go more through the gills the side way and then come out the other end of the head through the gill plate like that. That keeps it on the bait real good because the gill plates are tough. And then you just have a very little bit of a point, just enough that if you drive the hook in on a good hook set, you can uh, stick them real good, but they don't necessarily feel it when they're chewing on the bait. So I'm gonna take that. This is just a medium action spinning gear, nothing too special. There's a big deep hole directly in front of me um, where the water, the surrounding water that way is more like two feet deep. It's very shallow. And over there it's more like three, but right here in front of this hole it's about four or five feet deep. So if it's a difference in the river, I'm hoping that um, it'll, you know, there'll be some bowfin hiding out. So just cast out like that. Usually, because this is a muddy bottom, I usually pull it a few feet just to get it out of the mud and make sure the bait is sitting upright. And uh, loosen the drag. Good deal, so I can easily pull it out. Put in a rod stand that's roughly about 45 degrees. This one's a little bit lower than 45 degrees. Tighten the line and you basically just wait till you have a really strong, fast pull. Um, and uh, when that happens, you pick up the pull, walk towards the fish, set the hook, tighten the drag, well, tighten the drag first, then set the hook, then land the fish, of course. All right, I'll tune in to you guys if I actually get a bite. That's not good. Ooh, he's big. He's tangled. There's the many things that can go wrong when you're fishing. Ah, but I still landed him. He's not as big as I thought he was, but he's still a decent size. Let's see if we can't fix this little situation we have with the lines. Oh, 
That's a big bow fin though. Is not bad, not bad. Cut on cut bait. Man, still got some fight left.